Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, hello, what's up? My name is Jenny Zapon. And on my channel, I do a lot of reviews, hauls. So if you love all of those, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm a little swollen and bruised right now. So I normally don't have a lisp when I talk and I usually can talk a bit more and use my facial expressions. Let's start off with the bag first. And I technically just did two orders. The items in the box were items that my store just doesn't carry. So I had to do like an online order. Let's just get started. I did do a good job this year. I was sticking to products that I really need, things that I've like used up and repurchases only not. I did buy a couple of new items, but um, overall I did a really good job. And like I said, it is early on in the sale. So I'm hoping that I don't do another order. Starting off with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Iconic Nude. I've been really into lip liners. And so I wanted to pick this one up. This is just the regular nude. Speaking of lip liners, I did buy another lip liner as well. Make up forever. It's the Artist Color Pencil. This is in the shade Limitless Brown. So it's more of a brownie shade. It's the shade right here. And it's like, you know, you can use it for your eyes, lips, you can do anything with it. This is like a multi-purpose aligner. So very excited. I've been using this for the past couple of days. Super smooth, obsessed with it. Another newish item is this House Labs Hibiscus Haze Color Fuse Blush. I've also seen really good reviews. I love the foundation. And so I decided to pick this up. I don't have the older packaging. Um, but I, this is the newer one and it's just so stinking beautiful. So I just couldn't help it. And I am a blush girly through and through. If you've been here for a while, you know, I love my blushes. So these two are repurchases. It's the Unseen Sunscreen Super Goop. Um, I purchased the Jumbo just because it, they're just a little bit pricey. And so um, my fiance just goes through these, which is a good thing, I guess, that he's protecting his skin. Um, but yeah, he goes through these like crazy. So I try to stock up as much as I can during the sale. Next is this Peter Thomas Roth water drench broad spectrum spf 45 hyaluronic cloud moisturizer i love this this has been my go-to moisturizer for the past two years this is a repurchase it's the turn up the base butter silk concealer i'm in the shade medium 4ng neutral golden um by one size love this thing this is also a repurchase it's the pharmacy green clean melt makeup melt away cleansing balm if you've been here for a while and you see in my hauls you see that this is always in there in the holiday haul and the holiday sale and the spring sale it's always something that I pick up because I love it so much. This also is a restock. It's the Ole Henriksen Lemonade Smoothing Scrub. It's a really good, gentle exfoliator. Um, I have sensitive skin, so this works really well. Both of us, we love using this thing. This one is, I guess, kind of sort of new. Um, when I purchased a couple of shampoos at Sephora, they would throw in like sample packets and they had sample packets of this Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment and it makes your hair so smooth. Um, a, couple of year ago, a couple of years ago when I was like dyeing my hair, um, it would just feel so dry, so brittle. So this is on the verge of, and just using this just smells so good and it makes your hair feel so freaking smooth. It's a, I guess it's, I guess you can consider this an overnight treatment. It's a leave-in, there's no rinse, nothing. You can just put it on, wake it the next day, and it just feels so smooth. Last but not least, it's the Briogeo Destined for Destiny Caffeine and Biotin Shampoo and Conditioner. We loved Briogeo, if you're watching this, we loved the orange one. It was like that blossom one where it like helps your hair grow, helps your hair stay smooth, fresh. Don't know why you guys canceled that one out or got rid of it. I know that they replaced it with like the don't, despair repair like that pink one um not a big fan of that one but this one he was also a big fan of it so i stocked up on this as well moving on to the box um i purchased the uh, cinema secrets makeup brush cleaner i love this thing this one makes your 
brushes clean you can sanitize them you can just use them right away you don't have to wait for dry time this is the best next is this kosa's dream beam comfy smooth sunscreen Top of recovering my hair i also want to be more diligent in my sunscreen so i picked up this um comfy smooth sunscreen by kosa's it's their new one and i wasn't a big fan of their concealer or their foundation um but i just saw really good reviews on this i just bought a mini one just because i wasn't sure if i was gonna like it and of course you can always return these items if you try it and it's not a big and it doesn't work out for you but i i don't know i just feel like i'd be super guilty just buying a large item and not liking it so i decided to pick up a mini one and then to test it out so i'll let you guys know i picked up the nars afterglow liquid blush i have the shade brazen and I just picked up the original shade in Orgasm because I love this freaking formula. On top of being more diligent and wearing my sunblock, I'm also trying to do better in repairing my hair. And so um, I use the L'Oreal Paris Absolute Repair. Um, I switched to a new stylist and she used this when I she was like dyeing my hair back to black and it just felt so good. It smelled so good. It made my hair feel so good clean and smooth so i picked up the shampoo i go through shampoos faster than i go through conditioners this is a repurchase this is the orbe a super fine hairspray i've talked about this in my favorites before um i love this it's so pricey it's ridiculous for a hairspray but it is so good it sprays on like mist of course it's called a mist and um it just doesn't make your hair it doesn't feel like your hair is crunchy it's so smooth it smells good i love it everything about orbe I love. I just wish it just wasn't as expensive. The next one is this Oribe Gold Bless Dry Heat Protection Spray. This one's new for me. I think it's also a new product. Like I said, I'm trying to protect my hair, so um, I decided to go for Oribe because I love their product. Last but not least, it's this YSL Love Shine High Shine Lip Oil. Um, I love their little lip balm and so when I saw that they came out with lip oils I had to pick it up. This is so cute. This is in the shade Rosewood Rosewood blush. I just Needed this. It's just so freaking beautiful It's also like a newer item as well So this concludes my first order I decided to do a second order because there were two things that I saw online that I was like, oh my God, I really wanted it. So I will show you guys. Really quick though, um, this is a Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream by Day. I picked this up also in my second order. I've talked about this also in my favorites video. I just forgot to pick it up in the first time around. I don't Hopefully the last are these two items. This is the Protect Tint Daily SPF Tint by Supergoop. I'm in the shade 26 w um again i'm trying to be really more I, i'm just trying to be very diligent in protecting my skin and um i saw a girl test this out on tiktok um like training for her marathon and she just said that it worked really well she had like a little sticker on her forehead to like see how well it's actually protecting your skin and it actually did really good even through a whole sweat so i might do like a wear test with this one um, I'm super excited for this one. Last but not least, this is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Extra Shine Lip Gloss. Um, I'm not a big gloss person, but this one's not as sticky so far. It wears really well. It's supposed to be high shine, blurring, and smoothing effect. It doesn't sit in your lines. And this is what the product looks like. I, I did a quick little video on my TikTok as well. It smells like vanilla and... I love the shine it gives me and there's another shade that I want but I really want to test this out to see how it, how it wears and we can go from there. This concludes my Sephora spring sale haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you're going to pick up. Let me know if any of the items that I listed that you want to try out or that you're interested in. Um, also comment down below what you'd like to see next and as always thanks for watching. Bye.